Okay, so today I am off and I have got to get this house cleaned and everything ready. See you in a little bit. guys it is time to get this room ready yep you heard it I have to get the whole house ready luckily for me Michael's room is already done because well it's been done because I cleaned it and then he hasn't been here so his room's ready so that's check um, I did the kitchen check I did the bathroom check actually did both bathrooms I did our room now it's time to get this room ready and honestly, we haven't done much to this room, but become a storage unit and there's some pictures over there. Um, because we haven't had anybody here. So, it's time to go through the closet, get everything ready, because we have visitors coming! Um, and this is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. So they're coming in tomorrow, and they're going to be here for the weekend, and then Billy's going to go pick up Michael and, um, so yeah, then Michael, Billy will be here on Sunday. But yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have to get this room ready. Oh, 
here we go so far um oh that's always yarn i was like what is that there is a um out of the box like set that that is so awesome i hope they still do it um it's for like helping kids with their fine motor skills then i got a couple games that i thought she would like to play um here's some books here's some little activity books here's our my puppets and then this box right here is like those paint dauber things like people play with bingo and then that box right there has like pencils and pens and colors and I don't even know what's all in there so this is what I've set up um for right now. why would I be setting up a bunch of kids stuff duh my niece is coming into town and my sister is coming into town so um, my sister is like 24 years old. She can find something to do, but my niece is only five. So I have a couple of things in here for her to do, um, that I'm sure will end up in the living room, but that's okay with me. So I also wanted to take a moment and show you some things that I had picked. Um, but one of them I can't find. So, um, I have to go look for that. I think it's still in the car. Um, but anyway, so this was kind of like, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm so short. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say that this was like a last minute, but it was kind of last minute. So, um, normally like when we plan something like this, just because I live so far away now, um, I try to think of things like things to do with the kids, um, like little presents I can give them and stuff. Well, some of the, I had a present for each one of them when they come in um, August, but I didn't have anything for for now. So anyway, I found something. So I found a couple of things. The first thing I found. Oh yes, I'm gonna use this. Okay, I'll just sit back. Okay, so the first things um that I found, I wanted her to be able to do something with just her and Billy. Um, and so I thought, what better thing than Legos? So when I was on Amazon, I found this cute little set. And it was weird because I wasn't even looking for something like this. I was actually looking for something completely different. I can't remember what it was. But it was something completely different that I was looking for. And when I was... Um, this like popped up in the suggestions, which is really funny, but it's called Olivia's Creative Lab. And um, this is like the things that she can do in there. And her name is Olivia. So I was like, that is so cute. So um, I got her this one. And then a couple days later, this one came up as a suggestion. And this is Adrian, I think. Yeah, Adrian. No. Adrian. So I got this one for her. Um, and this one's basically, it looks like she's accepting a reward and there's a camera. So it's just kind of cute. Um, little sets that I thought that they could build together and then she can take home. So I got her that. I got her a Batman fidget spinner, but I can't find it. So I'm thinking it's in the car, um, which kind of brings me to these activities. So in my car, whether it's in the van or it's physically in the car, I have these little, um, like I think the cars is a, it has, it's in like a little bag, um, like a drawstring bag. And then I hate when solicitors get your number. Um, it's in like a drawstring bag and then the one for the van is in its actual tote. And so I think I've done a video about it a while ago, the different things that I put in a tote, um, the different ages of things so that the kids have something to do. So even if they're like, I'm bored, I'm bored, you can pull out the thing and, and find stuff in there. And I'll probably redo that video in a little bit, but it's basically things like jolly race boards, um, books coloring books, um, sticker books. There is, um, one that I think the one in the van has like little Lego sets. There's a princess little, it's not a, like the Lego sets, just Legos that you build. They're just 
common Legos. And then the princess set, I think it's just figurines of princesses. Um, but yeah, so basically there are things. And then there's games. Like we'll have like, you can read the game, uh, Would You Rather, um, Goldfish, stuff like that. And there's like little brain teaser games and stuff like that for the kids. So there's there's something for the kids to do of all ages. It's not like, oh, well, just the big kids or just the little kids. And honestly, who doesn't like coloring? So these are um, two, three things that I picked up for her to go along with um, the different things that are already in the car for her to do. Now, the drive is only an hour and a half. I really don't see her getting really bored. If anything, she'll ask for my phone after a while. But I'm going to go ahead and give her these um, while we're on the way home. And then when we take her back, just for fun. I mean, it's clearly just for fun. And it's something that she will get surprised when she gets in. So, this is bingo. This is vehicle bingo. So, you would look around. Um, to see the different things that you would see on the road and then you can like cross them out or anything like that um, And these are like different spots are for different things. So this is actually I feel like um, I think it's for three and up because basically they can look at it and tell what they're looking for They're looking for a green truck. They're looking for a bus. They're looking for a scooter. They're looking for a dump truck They're looking for a bicycle um, A train. It's just like there's words and there's pictures um, to kind of show them what they're looking for along the way. Um, our trip won't be that long, so half the stuff she probably won't see. Like the canoe, the kayak, a hot air balloon, jet ski. I don't know. Some of those she probably won't even see. But anyway, it'll be a fun game. And because my sister's going, my sister can play with her too. Or they can just sit there and cross them out. And just, that's how they can do it. Then I found this little dress and play, um... Daisy and Minnie Mouse and it comes with a little board like this is you know if they're outside and then this is if they're inside um, getting dressed and stuff so you can kind of see you know they can she can dress them and stuff like that and then um, it's a magnet so I'll probably actually use one of our baking sheets or something to put it on so it'll be a little easier then all parents can't stand these things but I actually don't mind it so this is a little grab and glow, grab and go, not glow, uh, play pack. They can color the stickers. It has colors, it says four crowns, 25 stickers, and 24 page fun size coloring book. So it was a dollar. So I got her that. Um, something again that she can have in the car. I'll put it in on top of the car seat so when she gets in she'll see it and she'll be all surprised. So I did that. Um, and hopefully I can find her fidget spinner I'm thinking I left it in the truck because or the car because when I got it I stuck it in the thing I think that's where it's still at so yes so anyway those are basically what I've got for the car ride um we're gonna be doing a ton of things we're gonna be going to the park we're gonna be going to the pool probably going to the pool a couple times um we have a couple ideas of things that we're gonna do you know depending on if it's gonna rain or not like there's alternatives um one night we're going to have like a movie and pizza in the living room and stuff like that just to have fun, just to like be us. Um, we're going to go probably to an actual playground and then to our playground. Um, we're, I think we're going to grow one night. We're just going to do a lot of different things depending on the weather, depends on what we do. So it's kind of still up in the air right now, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyway, that's her things that she's going to get from me um yeah so basically that's it um this room there's not a lot that we're going to do this room really my sister is going to be in this room because um i have a different um idea for miss olivia but um i have to wait till billy gets home so i can get it out of the car so that i can um set it up and make sure it's going to work and then if it works I'll record it well even if it doesn't work I'll record it be like well that didn't work so yeah so I'm really excited about all of this that we are doing we're gonna do it's gonna be fun to just have a weekend really de designated and designed for her so yes it's gonna be fun anyway guys I am 
I gotta get out of here because honestly, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat and I make a run an errand. But yeah, it actually didn't take that long to clean up the house, get everything ready. Um, it didn't take that long at all. So I have that one thing to do and he said that he would be home early. So I'll try to set it up then. Anyway. And perfect for a five-year-old. Alrighty, guys. It is all like 4:40 or so in the afternoon now. I'm running to the store to go pick up a few things that we need for this weekend. Um, for everyone. So here's the deal. So um, Billy's gonna go get Michael um, Saturday night and he's gonna come back into town Sunday. So we actually have Michael back and um, my sister will be here, well, by the time that he gets back into town, she they'll probably be getting, like a couple hours later, be getting ready to leave town. But anyway, um, so for like a maybe, so for a good couple of hours, we probably will have everyone but um, he's going on Saturday to go pick him up. They're gonna come back Sunday. Um, and then we are gonna go, um, so then I'll have, we'll have Michael, Libby, and my sister will all be in town. So it'll be kind of nice to have like the house full again because when it's just um, Billy and I, I don't know, it's just the house is too quiet. The house is too quiet and there's, you know, it's weird. Like you just go to work and you come home go to work and come home so I am glad that the first part of the summer is over so that our house will start filling up again um, with people and friends and family and stuff like that so that's going to be pretty awesome in my book um, I'm ready for it so here we go so yeah Somebody, not me, is craving ice cream from Sonic. Thanks to a little conversation I had with my niece on the phone about her being an ice cream guy. So, guess who's responsible to go get the ice cream? That would be me. Let's go, guys. chocolate chip cookie dough master blast please yes ma'am and then may i have a brownie cookie dough madness but can i have that one in a meat i mean in a mini yes ma'am and that'll be all your shuttle's gonna be 896 have a great day thank you thank you
Alrighty. Sonic check. I got this for Billy. He can actually um, eat a lot of ice cream. I got the mini because I cannot. Like, every time I get it, I'll stick mine back in the freezer and I'll be, like, snacking on it for two or three days. So, that's why I got myself a mini. Alright, guys. Now, next errand real fast before I go home. Alright. Last stop is done. As you can tell, I'm at the gas station. But, yeah. Last stop. I'm heading home. I can eat some ice cream and then call it a night for tomorrow. Okay.